resolution student at the University of Oregon School of Law. As a Eugene resident since 2008 and a current resident of Ward 3, I'm testifying tonight to urge the City Council to discuss climate recovery ordinance. Can't hear you. Sorry about that. Okay. Can you hear me? His microphone is flashing green and red. Over to that one here. Quick. Pull it right up in front of me. Yesterday, our Children's Trust attended the Mushroom Festival at Mount Pisgah Arboretum. During the course of the day, we collected over 50 signatures for a petition to support youth in the passage of a climate recovery ordinance in Eugene. To date, hundreds of Eugenians have signed on to our petition, and there will be many more supporters in the weeks and months ahead. Residents of Eugene know that we are not doing enough to mitigate and prepare for climate change. I challenge you to address these concerns in this public forum as soon as possible. The city's youth and other concerned residents want Eugene to legally commit to its emission reduction goals and to plan for a full climate recovery. They want to know what it would take at the local level to move more quickly to transition off of fossil fuels and to support a more sustainable future. We owe it to Eugene's youth and youth across this state and the country to show what local communities can accomplish. We owe it to today's youth to show them that a sustainable future is possible and that we can make substantial progress right now. As we've mentioned before, we appreciate the dedicated efforts of the city and the people of Eugene to make our city a leader in addressing climate change. We understand that climate change is an overwhelming issue without an easy solution. Yet this is the most pressing issue for the youngest generation, for my generation, and for generations yet to come. Please consider discussing our ordinance as an agenda item this fall. We hope you'll stand with us and we look forward to working with you. Thank you. Next up is Arthur and or Charlene uh, Toller and followed by Melika Kramer. My name is Malik, Melika and I am 14 years old. My generation is too young to be making decisions of our future, so we need you to protect the environment that we are going to be living in. Please work hard to protect the land and our water and the air. Do everything you can do to help stop climate change. I mean it. Please think about discussing a climate recovery ordinance this fall. Thanks. Julia Olser is next, followed by Teo Olson. Good evening. My name is Julia Olson, and I'm Betty Taylor's ward. And I'll be really brief tonight. I just wanted to let you all know that in the next two weeks, a paper is being published by Jim Hansen and some of the other top climate experts around the world. It's called Climate Change and Intergenerational Justice, Rapid Reduction of Carbon Emissions Required to Protect Young People, Future Generations. And it's really an impressive group. It includes economists, biologists, climatologists, and other experts. And I, I will email a copy of the paper to each of you. I hope that you each read it. I think it's one of the most important scientific papers that is being published in our generation and that you consider what they say um, when you decide whether to put the proposed ordinance that we'll be sending you on an agenda this fall. Thank you. Theo Olson is next, followed by Elizabeth Brown. Pull that mic right down to you. My name is Tao Clover Frost Olson. I live in Eugene, Oregon. A few days ago, I went on a field trip to Amazon Creek, and I learned about the pollution that's causing only pollution-tolerant animals to live there. And we did a couple of samples of water quality. The reason why the creek is polluted is because of the oil and different chemicals that run off our streets when it rains. If we bike more or drive electric cars, there won't be as much oil on the roads. If we clean our air and atmosphere, we clean our water. Please put our cl climate recovery ordinance on your agenda. Thank you. Thank you. Elizabeth Brown is next, followed by Hazel Van Omerson. Hi. My name is Elizabeth Brown. I live in Eugene in Councillor George Brown's ward. I And he's not even looking up to make eye contact at me. Oh, oh, okay, thanks. Um, I work for the organization Our Children's Trust. Um, 
And as most of you know, human activity is specifically greenhouse gas emissions is responsible for the observed 1.5 degree Fahrenheit increase in 20th century annual average temperatures in the Pacific Northwest. And climate change is going to have adverse impacts on the city of Eugene and its residents. And in, instead of simply reacting to these impacts, the city council should do all it can to reduce carbon dioxide emissions to prevent climate change and its impacts on Eugene from getting worse. One of the climate impacts this city will face is on our water supply. A 2012 report from the Oregon Climate Change Research Institute at Oregon State University states that, quote, water and climate in Oregon are inextricably linked. And most of my testimony this evening comes directly from that report. Mountain snowpack has served as natural storage for summertime water supply for the city of Eugene. There has been a shift in the timing of stream flow from earlier in spring, which is caused by the increase in winter and spring temperatures. Cascade Mountain snowpacks are projected to be less than half of what they are today by mid-century. And as you know, a viable water supply is essential for our community to thrive. And the city council is going to have to deal with these impacts on Eugene residents um, now and take a more proactive role instead of just reacting and try to help prevent the problem from becoming worse. And as elected leaders of the city, you have a fiduciary responsibility to protect our natural resources on which we depend on for survival, and that's water and the atmosphere. And we respectfully ask that you put our proposed climate recovery ordinance on the agenda for two of your meetings this fall. Thank you. Next is Hazel Van Emerson, followed by Ariania, I think it is. You guys are terrific. Yes. Hello. Good evening, City Council. My name is Hazel Olive Van Emerson. I live in Betty Taylor's ward. I am nine years old and, and in fourth grade at Edgewood Elementary. I want to stop climate change and global warming because humans and animals will be affected greatly by floods, losing homes, and the air we breathe will be polluted. At the beginning of September, I went to a youth climate change leader and leader training and learned how I could, can help I, our climate. Now I want you to continue to stand up for our climate by protecting the land and it, wa air water of Eugene completing your climate goals, making the best plan to protect our envir environment. I will be coming back to city council meetings this fall and hope that you will be putting our proposed climate change recovery on the agenda for of two of your meetings this fall. Thank you. Thank you. Ariana, followed by, it looks like Holby, Fu. Hello, Eugene City Council. I am Erin Aria, and I am nine. I care about stopping climate change because I understand that poor people all over the world are going to have a much harder time because of climate change. It is our responsibility and your responsibility to try and stop this. When I grow up, I want to live in a nice world. Can you please talk about climate change at, me at a meeting this fall? Thank you. Very well done. Okay, Holby. Good evening, City Council. My name is Holdy Fink. I'm uh, the owner of Native and Urban Gardens, and I also am speaking on behalf of the Climate Recovery Initiative. Um, Speak up, Holdy. <clears throat> my um, my uh, business involves working on a daily basis with humans and their interface with the environment, and um, we're making continuous decisions every day about how our environment will look for the future, and climate change is going to affect that environment. It's no longer sort of just talking about the weather or the weather in passing as we do to, to uh, um, engage in pleasantries. It's quite possible that, you, that without a um, clear avenue for discussion on this um, issue, uh, we may face additional homelessness and complications for the future. So, thanks for your time. I think the HVAC is giving out or something here. It's a very uh, I it was weird it sounding. Noise. It's getting louder. It's getting louder, louder and louder. In it's getting louder and louder. I think it's Sue Saralupia is up next and Michael Adams after that. Good evening. My name is, I'm oh, sorry. Good 
Good evening. My name is Cameron Fox. I am 13 years old, and I have lived in Eugene for all my life. Facing my future and the future of all in the youth of not only this nation, but of the world, is the threat of climate change caused by our enormous carbon pollution. Government should have acted long ago, but it did not. And now there are horrifying things facing my generation and me, such as rising seas, floods, heat waves, fires, superstorms, and increased war due to food shortages. Yet, like any threat, it is preventable to a degree. Respected scientist Jim Hansen, <coughs> former head of the Goddard Institute in NASA, came up with a plan to slow the effects of climate change and perhaps even bring equilibrium back to the atmosphere by reducing our carbon dioxide pollution by 6% a year. Eugene should take it upon itself as a model city to create a plan. Last year, we banned plastic bags because they were destroying our coastline. By accepting and putting a plan into action, you will make the world a better place for my future and the future of those who will come after me. By not creating a plan, we would feel that you do not care about us or our future or <clears throat> the future of those who will come after us. By not creating a plan, I would feel that you do not care <clears throat> about a third of the world's species, which would go extinct because of climate change. By not creating a plan... I would feel that you do not care if coastal towns like Newport and Florence get annihilated. A 6% reduction a year is not much and is easily doable with some creativity. Once Eugene puts a plan into action, other cities will follow and we can finally have some hope for our future. So please, so that you care about us and consider a plan for Eugene re to reduce by 6% carbon a year. Nicholas Fox is next, followed by James Beeson. Hello, I am Nicholas. Uh, good evening, City Council. My <laughs> name is Nicholas Fox, and I am seven years old, and I am a second grader in Eugene. I care about stopping climate change because I saw a stream drying up. I heard about tornadoes that are a mile long, and I know that the mountains where I like to ski are losing their snow. In September, I went to a youth climate leader training and learned how, to, uh, how I could protect our climate. Now I ask you to protect the land, air, and water of Eugene and make a plan to reduce carbon di dioxide that pollution that is causing you climate change. I will be back in two weeks and hope that the city council will talk about what to do then. Thank you for caring about our climate and listening to Eugene's kids. Next up is James Beeson, followed by Ronnie Arend. 